good morning all so now we back into the problem number 9 so in this problem uh, there is a hemisphere of diameter 50 mm centrally resting on top of a square prism of side 60 mm and height 50 mm so first uh, we will be constructing a square prism by taking dimensions i'll be constructing a box of uh, base side 60 height will be 30 okay box of 60 so from the reference end consider the length of 60 angle 30 again length 60 angle it is 150 degree again length is 60 angle is 210 okay and here the vertical height we should give 30 mm 30 into 30 go to move command create a copy of it select exactly the end point huh? so give the vertical height of 30 mm and select the bottom face now create a copy of it and move upward so that completes the square prism now above it we should consider the so first we will take center point of the box okay above it we have to place the hemisphere hemisphere of diameter 50 centrally resting on top of a square prism so so 50 means the radius we should consider 25 mm length okay here <coughs> so diameter 50 means uh, i'll be constructing a box of 50 by 50 and using four arc by center method I'll be constructing the go to four arc by center method and construct the ellipse now. go to arc by center and measure the radius and cut the arc so draw the semicircle select the top view select the center point and place it with that exact height okay this is how we complete the the hemisphere resting on a square prism and finally you select the diagram and convert into iso
Okay, now the next problem it is a sphere of diameter 30 mm rest on the frustum of a hexagonal pyramid base 30 mm, top face 18 mm and height 50. So that means uh, frustum of hexagonal pyramid that means I have to construct two hexagons one is of dimension 30 mm and one is of dimension 18 mm. So go to polygon by center select six sides. change the dimension to 30 and construct the box around it. Measure the box dimensions. So another uh, hexagonal draw for dimension of 18 mm because it is a frustum. So construct the box around it. Okay, now using these box dimensions, we can construct the isometric of the first term of the hexagonal pyramid. So take a reference line. Okay, draw a line of length 51.96, angle is 30 degree. Again the length is 60 mm, angle is 150, again length is 51.96, angle is 210 and then join. Go to arc by center and cut the arcs. Twenty-five point nine eight. And parallelly for the opposite end also we should cut twenty-five point nine eight. Okay, now in the opposite uh, it just uh, we should cut at exactly fifteen mm. Now connect these all arc points with the thick line to construct the hexagon. So zoom in. So connect all the arc points with the thick line. Join all the arc points here one by one. 
you can zoom in to get the exact point Okay, <clears throat> base of the hexagon, hexagonal pyramid is done. Now the another hexagon we have to construct. For that, you, I'll be using the smaller hexagon dimensions. So first length it is 31.18, 30 degree, and second one it is 36 length, and angle is uh, 150, and third one it is 31.16, angle is 210. Then join. And go to arc by center and cut the arc for 15.59 the same way you can cut it for the opposite end 15.59 Now for the opposite ends we should cut it for 9 mm so totally 4 arcs I have to cut give the radius 9 mm and here also we can give the radius 9 mm same way for the opposite end also you can cut it for 9 mm Join all these arc points with the thick line. Now draw the diagonals to find out the center. Go to move command, creates a copy, select the center point. Now connect all the points with the vertical edges here so draw the slant edges connecting the top face and bottom face Now this is the first term of the hexagonal pyramid done. Now we have to construct the sphere. So from the center of the first term we have to consider the height here. The height will be 
15 mm because the diameter it is 30 so consider the height of uh, height of 15 mm okay and here uh, so before constructing a sphere so select this uh, whole diagram go to scale and type 0 0.816 enter okay go to circle so from the center of the circle from here you have to draw a circle for a diameter of 30 mm so change it to continuous one so check the dimension so this is with the actual scale remember it sphere always drawn with the actual scale so other than sphere although solids will be constructed with the isoscale okay next we move on to the next type of problem that is hemisphere diameter 70 mm placed on the ground on its curved surface a cone base diameter 70 mm and height 70 mm placed centrally on it draw the isometric projection of the combination first uh, we need to construct the hemisphere that is the flat surface has to facing upside then above of it we need to place the cone here okay so first i will be taking a reference line and i will be constructing a box for a dimension of 70 here 70 by 70 uh, 70 by 70 mm box i have to construct here okay So <clears throat> hemisphere diameter means ellipse we have to consider here and then a half circle you have to draw. So 70 mm means here the box we should construct for a dimension of 70, 70 mm angle 30 and again 70 mm angle 150 and again 70 mm angle is 210 degree. So then join. Now I will be drawing the diagonal line because uh, we have to get that uh, <coughs> ellipse at a height of 35 mm because diameter 30 means the radius we should consider that is 35 okay from the center I will be considering a height of 35 okay here another box I should construct for that what I will do I will select the bottom bottom box and I will create a copy and then I will move upward with respect to the taking the middle point I am going to place it okay now go to arc uh, uh, line and using 4 arc by center method so we can construct the ellipse here go to arc by center arc by center point from the one end to the other end can construct the same with respect to the bottom end you can do it I think so there is a some variation in the arc here we'll re redraw here I think there is some mistake I'll correct it so take the exact center point So now the base of the cone is uh, base of the uh, hemisphere that is uh, 
सर फ्लैग सर्कुलर फेस फेसिंग अपसाइड अल्ट्रा डायगोनल एंड गो टू आर्क बाई सेंटर पॉइंट फ्रॉम द सेंटर एल कंसिडर द रेडियस एंड ड्राइंग एन हाफ सर्कल डाउनवर्ड ओके नाउ हियर यू कैन से द बेस ऑफ द कोन आल्सो इट इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड नाउ वी हैव टू कंसिडर द हाइट हियर ओके हाइट ऑफ सेवेंटी एम सो फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ इट आई विल कंसिडर ए एक्सिस लेंथ फॉर सेवेंटी एम फ्रॉम द मिडल ऑफ इट सो कंसिडर सेवेंटी एम so from the middle of it consider a length of 70 mm okay go to continuous line tangentially you can draw the the lower part okay so that completes the problem and then finally you can select the whole diagram and convert it into iso so remember it this step you should do it in the isometric projection go to scale and type 0.816 enter so you will get the isometric projection now we move on to the final problem okay so this problem it is nothing but three cubes okay three cubes of dimension 60 40 and 20 placed one above the other centrally okay first i will take a reference line then here are the bottom box of dimension 60 mm so go to thick line from the reference point take a length of 60 angle 30 okay and again length 60 angle 150 again length 60 angle 210 and then join so here the vertical height we should give 60 mm because it is a 60 mm cube okay consider a length of 60 mm go to move command creates a copy of it select the exact end point okay now we join the top face okay so now i'll find out the center of the box then i'll copy the top box okay select the top box go to go to move create a copy of it okay then go to scale and here we reduce it to 40 40 by 60 we want 40 means from 60 so that's why 40 by 60 enter so again you enter it you will get 20 by 20 box also okay you can see there so you can use that uh, first box is done okay now i'll use the second box here so select the whole box go to copy select the center point place it now consider the vertical height here vertical height of 40 mm 40 enter go to again move command create a copy of it select the end point okay already we have uh, made a 20 mm box okay we place it exactly with respect to the center then we construct so constructing a cube it is very easy right three cubes very easy problem if you get this problem in exam you can do this problem within minutes okay so it is very easy problem so now consider a height of 20 mm for the smaller box okay you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications 
and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited because this is the new syllabus and with respect to the new syllabus the portion is very heavy and I have uh, created this channel for helping the students if it is reaches to the maximum students so that each one of the students will ben benefit it so in the video this is the first time they have been changed the syllabus and 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 the portion also very heavy so for the for the benefit of the students i have made this channel so if anyone found this channel you just share it to your friends okay if any friends are uh, studying in different college you can share it to through the whatsapp so it can be helpful for them one or the other way they'll be get benefited thank you all thank you for watching the video